Another famous icon that I wrote about in my book is Archaeopteryx. When Darwin published The Origin of Species, there was actually no fossil evidence for any of the major transitions that he postulated in his theory. But soon after he published the book, uh, a now very famous fossil was discovered of a bird uh, with feathers, beautiful feathers, that also had teeth in its beak, a long reptile-like tail, and claws on its wings. In other words, it had bird fe features and reptilian features, and it was widely taken to be the missing link, the missing link between reptiles and birds. And it's been used that way in many biology textbooks. Uh, it's still there in some of them. We now know uh, that Archaeopteryx has features that would have to entirely lose to become the ancestor of the modern bird. It was a side branch in the tree, if indeed there was a tree, between ancient creatures and modern birds. In fact, there's a whole school of Darwinian evolution, evolutionary biology, called cladistics, that assumes Darwinian evolution is true and then uses homology, pure and simple, to decide patterns of ancestry and descent. Forget the fossil record, we just use homology now, that is, structures and positions of features. When Darwinian biologists went looking for homologies in fossils that could plausibly indicate the ancestor of modern birds, they found uh, little dinosaurs that had such features, but that had lived tens of millions of years after Archaeopteryx. So although Archaeopteryx was supposed to be the first bird, it turns out that its ancestors don't appear in the fossil record until tens of millions of years later. Presumably, if the Darwinists are, are right, these ancestors also preceded Archaeopteryx in the fossil record. But that means that the missing link is still missing. We do not have a fossil appearing at the right time in the record that could plausibly be the ancestor of Archaeopteryx and modern birds. So every now and then, as with ape-to-human fossils and various other things, we read the hype in the news about the latest feathered dinosaur found in China or something like that. In fact, here's an article that came out just this month, September 2010, about a, uh, another creature found in Spain. This one uh, has little bumps on some of its bones and it also has certain features that are homologous to modern birds. So it's thought that this might be the ancestor that they're looking for, the missing link. The little bumps being places from which feathers sprouted, although no feathers were found with the fossil. Also, this fossil is about 20 million years younger than Archaeopteryx. So once again, we have an ancestor that's younger than its supposed descendant. And this goes on all the time. I mean. Darwinian dogma in the form of modern cladistic analysis overrides the fossil evidence and becomes evidence for Darwinian evolution. It's circular thinking all the way down. Darwinian evolution is true. This fossil fits the theory, so therefore it must be the missing link. Therefore the theory is true. And here we have it again very recently.